It's Monday. It's raining. It's sort of cold outside. Uh, I think it's about 50. It's warmer than it has been when I was out working in the yard. But given that it is raining today, and it's going to be raining for a few days, I am going to work on organizing my seeds. I've shown you before, these are the containers that I have. And inside you will see my seeds. And I'm going to go through and do a better job of organizing this. not too bad but some of them have gotten misplaced I've showed you before I mark the the month this is February and July that I can plant these hey by the way my daughter got me some more blue lake bush green beans turns out they were at her Dollar Tree so she picked me up a dollar's worth which was four packages so I'm all set for blue lake bush green beans and so I'm going to be going through here, organizing and deciding what, if anything, I should uh, do some cold stratification on and just go back through. Things have gotten to be a mess. They're, they're in the wrong bags, some of them. So that's what I'm going to work on today. These little silica gel packs that come in your shoes and in your medicine bottles, hang on to them. They come in handy to stick in with your seeds. It keeps moisture out of them. Those of you who dry your own seeds and you find from time to time that you get mold on them when you've done them yourself, like your cantaloupe seeds, you will prevent that if you will put this in with the actual seed envelope that you're saving in. Now, I will tell you, even though you see some of my stuff in plastic bags, you will not find seeds generally, like these can of seeds, are just in a plastic bag. You're smarter if you put them in a paper envelope. And then you can store them in there. But if you really want to prevent moisture, be sure that they go in a paper envelope, not just straight into plastic like that. Okay? Do as I say and not as I do. <laughs> but when I have it in a plastic bag like that, if I move that bag around, you would see that there is some of these silica bags inside each one of those plastic bags. Hang on to your old boxes, like this is an old Kleenex box, and I can cut him and make myself some dividers inside this guy. This one is a larger box, and this one is from my Walmart order. If I tape him back together, he will fit in this direction. So I can cut along here and have a divider inside this box. I have gone from five or six containers down to just three. The smallest box is just flowers. In the beginning, I have herbs. And then these are perennial flowers. These are miscellaneous ones. And these back here are annuals. So I have annuals, some miscellaneous seeds, and my perennials and my herbs. And here is more flowers, but they are in the boxes. I'm debating whether or not just to store those in the refrigerator in the bottom shelf that is so skinny that I don't use it for anything other than storing seeds. I have other seeds in there that I'm going to go through. I won't be going through those on camera. When it gets warm enough to plant them outside, they'll be going directly in the garden. So I have five boxes of flowers, miscellaneous kinds, wildflowers, sunny area, shady area, which I no longer really possess a shady area, but I have them. And I went alphabetized with my vegetable seeds. And uh, starting over here with beans, notice there's no asparagus. I have yet to find asparagus. So, and when I do, it's going to go directly out into the garden. Um, well, I'll probably have to do the cold chill hours on it before it goes out to the garden, but you get my drift. 
because it is a perennial where most of this is annuals. I almost consider kale to be a perennial here, a short-lived one. It'll live for about two years through drought and freezes. It's an amazing thing. Um, and as I said before, if you don't like it raw in your salads, try it cooked. I enjoy it cooked in my stir fries. So I go all the way from beans to my melons back here. And most things are now stored in envelopes that have been cut in half and I store them inside there. You know, I told you I like squash, so there are all different kinds of squash. And when you get to the melons, there are several envelopes of melons because I like melons. I don't know what to tell you. Canary melon, watermelon. I file cantaloupe and honeydew melons underneath there as well. So I'm down to three boxes now, and I think they are more organized. Now, before I had them sked, you know, in the little bags, divided up as to when they get planted in the yard. And if you're not familiar when things should be planted, I think that is a very good way to do it. But I've been doing this long enough now that I think I know when things have to be planted. Plus, I do have a little calendar floating around here. There's a copy of it on my phone that tells me when to get things started. So, I am now better organized. Some things are stored in bottles with a little thing in there with them to take up any excess moisture. But, I like this. My daughter bought these for me in the fall, and I'm going to start using them. Now you will notice some seeds over here. This is a bag of seeds that's going to the retirement center for people there to have. These are some seeds that I need to get planted as soon as possible. I don't think I'm gonna do it today. My knees are hurting me. The last little container is melon seeds. It turns out I have an abundance of melon seeds. If I have a cantaloupe and I think he tastes really good, I save his seeds. Same thing with watermelon. But it turns out you can grow them as microgreens, which I did not know. So I'm going to try these and see if they will grow as microgreens. So I'm all cleaned up. Those seeds will find home this, this week, this weekend. Today's Thursday. With all the rain, I'm just not going to push myself to get out there and do stuff in a mucky, muddy, yucky yard. <laughs> so you guys have a good weekend. Um, if it dries out enough this weekend, I'll go plant some seeds, but I don't feel the need to do video on planting seeds. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory on the package. Most seeds, they vary from surface to an eighth of an inch to a fourth of an inch. They're really large seeds, like, butternut seeds, they might go as deep as a half inch. It's, it's not that hard to plant seeds, guys. It's, it's not rocket science. So you guys have a good weekend. Take care. Rustic Garden Retreat out.